Hey, welcome to Rhymes Times Adventure and... and oh, hi, I'm Deb. And we're just hanging out here um, in our new home base. Right? In um, French Camp RV and... Oh, it's an RV. French... Look, our first blooper. Ah! Yeah, our French Camp in... Um, um, RV, um, French Camp RV in Manteca, and it's a, it used to be a golf course resort. It has pools, it has laundry room. If you ever guys want to come out here, it's a pretty cool setup for this, right? Yeah, it's nice. It's very nice. It's very lush and green, especially in the common area. Um, of course, the pool and the spa are closed right now, but the laundry room and the bathroom facilities are still open. It looks like they're doing some maintenance on the main. Um, they have like a, a oh, an events center, and it looks like they have enough stuff in there to do a very large cookout. So I'm looking forward to uh, getting back to a sense of normal, but this is our normal right now. So we're like, we're gonna take you the, today's, um, what, what we're gonna talk about today is really, we take our dogs out for a walk um, once or twice or three times because we wanna just wear them out. And we don't take you on an adventure of one there, uh, I guess it might have been a trail, maybe a golf course, <coughs> and a cough. Yeah, that was a sneeze, God bless you. Because there's allergies out here. There's a lot of allergies out Well, it's the Central Valley of California, you're going to have allergies. Anyway, um, also I like to get my 9,000 steps. Yep, she does. Looked at her watch, all that, her smart. It's, it's a smart one. Samson, not iPhone. Um, smart watch. You might lose some viewers that way. That's sure. okay. Um, but we're, we're going to take you on a venture. We're going to talk about what we do. It's great. I mean, you guys will see that this might be a good thing that you guys ever drive through here. You might want to stay here and stop by because you have a lot of diversity, traveling nurses, um, weekend campers, weekend campers, welders, all that. Mm -hmm. So we're going to show you some of our adventure. Um, hope you guys enjoy. If you like, make sure you keep on saying like and subscribe maybe yeah. tell us some comments right that's always nice and yeah, yeah definitely share the video if you find it useful and then it will be fun that to tell us where you we should go camp because my wife watches a lot of people i do um rv whatever oh you i watch a lot of youtube channels that's how i learn how to do stuff so so, <laughs> so i hope you guys enjoy and we will talk to you later we will see you um, maybe once, maybe twice a week. We have to figure out the time and management, how to do that. But uh, and me work and her work, and we just go from there. Yes, I look forward to going back to work. Catch you guys later. Have a good one. Bye. Wow, I'm really enjoying this walk. I love walking, and I mean it's pretty cool walking. It's, the dogs love this, and thus they get those stickers. Yeah, there's a lot of stickers around there. Um, Tony and I like to keep track of the water levels in this uh you know it used to be a golf course so these were water features or i guess they were called hazards back then um haven't found any sand traps yet but yeah we uh we really enjoy our walks part of the walk is paved and part of it is dirt road like what we're on now it's kind of cool right now because we do this in the morning we do the walk in the morning because we're going to get our, our dogs tired we just have a opportunity since Deb, unfortunately, isn't working right now, and I'm working. It gives us the opportunity to bond and walk, and I guess this is what we will do when we're retired. Oh, I hope that we won't spend this much time in one park for very long. <laughs> yep, so anybody wants to volunteer their, their truck and I just get rid of it and give us and get your old new truck and we'd get your old one and it doesn't cost a thing, we'd be glad to take it off your hands. No, no, we have to have one of our own and it has to be able to haul roughly 17 to 18,000 pounds. Hey, you see the shadow of me on there? Yeah, I do see your shadow on there. Yeah, so here's the pond that they do. That I guess they're doing the irrigation of this pond, but it's kind of cool. We're having like the, I keep on saying what, do geese what? They're geese. Uh, I can't say they're it right. mostly Canadian geese that have taken up residence here year round. And we have some baby geese goslings, um, but it's hard to get close enough to get a good picture of them because their parents are really protective, which is understandable. But we will have some fun. I mean, this is like a really quick video. It's, it's only been like seven minutes and maybe 45 seconds. 
but we know we want to do a morning walk. Maybe we sit down tonight, today, while we're, it looks like you're making, what are you making for dinner today? I'm making chili beans for dinner. Woo, chili beans, so a lot of gas. Oh, thanks for sharing that. All right, but but um, we might sit down, maybe we, we might stroll over and we see uh, one of our RV fifth builders neighbors, they're throwing a party right now. Yeah, one of the kids in the park is having a birthday party and they have a giant blow up water slide and they're just going all out. And uh, they told us to drop by, get a piece of pizza. And this is cool, what we're coming up, it's because this is a fun part. You won't see it, but on the far right, we use a cut to the right because that's where the dog park is and so forth. So what's cool about this um, RV park and a Watson, so you could actually see people always, I never saw so many people exercise their dogs and uh, play around and the dogs have their, the dogs do their dog tots to each other. Oh, yeah, the, it's always fun to greet a new dog on the trail. Of course, right now we're supposed to be being very careful with our animals. Um, I haven't heard of any reports of anybody in the park having it. So we're all taking very good care and protection and making sure things are nice and clean because we want to stay healthy and I want to go back to work. So I was walking, we're going to this bridge that I really enjoy. We're walking to this bridge. Um, I guess the excess of all the water running off from the stairs, all that. And so it's starting to get a little, um, the water is increasing and so forth. But it's kind of cool when you're living in Manteca, um, it's your, you're, you're in a city, but you're not in the city. So it's kind of cool that you, I never realized this bridge is so neat because it's kind of cool that you could see the water and see the geese, geese. All right, maybe that's, maybe that's 100 times. But here we go, we're going here and having fun. Here's the bridge, or cement, whatever you call that. Bridge, and it's probably, aside from the one you drive across, this one is probably the most structurally intact still from the old golf course. So, panning to the left, you can see up, that's basically upriver. And we haven't really figured out where the water comes from, but we're assuming it, it's partially from runoff. So we're almost tying up this quick little walk. We'll be walking a lot longer than this, but we really want to tie this up that you see some of the sceneries and so forth. All the beautiful things that you see around it as I stroll all that, you see a lot of really cool, beautiful things. And oh, there's my wife coming up. I mean, that's like, ah, that's the that's beauty too. But we don't cut out really good, so I want for me to say goodbye. Well, I'm going to say goodbye to you then. All right, but other than that, you guys have a good one, and we will talk to you later.